What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on the Torch of Beta for today to do something that I haven't done yet. I'm surprised I haven't done it yet, actually. But we are going to be taking our Rotary E30 up to Hakone and try to get the Rad Dan sponsorship and or just try and drift the entire thing, which would in turn would give us a Rad Dan. It's very difficult to do. I've seen a couple people do it, but I have not been able to yet. I haven't actually really tried because I haven't had a very good car. So we are going to be taking our Rotary E30, if you noticed. It's got a little bit of a livery on it now. Uh, we decided to uh, put some uh, put some decals and some paint on the car to make it look a little bit nicer and a little bit more my car. Uh, we are rocking a bit of a wider stance in the front of that car and the rear, mostly in the front, we're rocking a wider stance. So we are going to send this to Hakone. Uh, we got a lot of things there, but we are going to ignore those and we're going to go straight to Hakone full course in our E30. We are, I believe, 890 horsepower, import level with Nexon Nefra tires. Uh, if I said that wrong, I'm sorry. Um, I do have a bunch of other parts that are waiting to be delivered. I just haven't delivered them yet or instant buy them. Um, it should put this up higher and into a pro status. So hopefully this car is good enough to do this. We are about to find out, but I know there's probably a lot of people on here that have been like, oh, I've done this already. You know, you're way behind or, you know, I'm... You know, I've already had that, you know, why, what are you doing? But, you know, I haven't really tried because I haven't had much of a really high car that I knew was high enough power-wise, and then I always set the wall like that. So, we are now in this E30 spinning out, which has a decent amount of power and a decent amount of lock now. So, we're going to try and establish this. I, I do wish I should try this one time without recording because my frame rate is probably way way higher when I'm not recording but I want to try and do this and bring this to you guys because you know it's nice to see uh, probably me fail and you guys are like oh I'm such a better drifter than him when it comes to this but you know what everybody is good at something and you know what I'm still getting the settings on this car right and uh Hakone is a, a very very tough car to tough track to crack so I know there was a guy that ran the entire Hakone track uphill in one quick in one drift and he was doing a lot of high speed entries and stuff like that and it was it was amazing. It was a piece of work to see that. So that is kind of why I wanted to try and get this because I also want to get the Rad Dan sponsorship. Even though I already have a Supra, uh, I still would like to get that Rad Dan sponsorship. So we are going to try our best do this it probably would be better on tilt uh, steering because of the twitchiness of the tap steering but I use tilt steering sometimes but mostly when I'm recording I use tap steering because it's just easier to record with tap steering so uh, we're not doing too good right now we are uh, having a bit of uh, issues making our way up the hill so hopefully the way down will be a lot better so if you guys have actually completed this and you guys have the Rad Dan sponsorship, let me know down in the comment section down below. Where did you guys do it? What uh, tips do you guys have for me to try and get this done? Because um, I'd like to get it, and I know some of the uh, some of the tips are probably going to be more power or uh, better drifting. Um, stay off the walls. But if you guys have some constructive criticism on something on the way I can help myself do this a little bit better, let me know down in the comment section down below because I know a lot of people probably already have this because I've seen a lot of people with the Rad Dan stickers. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying to get the Supra because I already have the Supra, but I'm just trying to get the sponsorship tree filled. So we are doing pretty bad right now. We're going to e break that really hard so we don't smack into the wall because I knew that sharp turn was coming and we'll kick it back this way. So. I'm kind of learning the track more. I think it's probably more so I'd have to just sit here and do this a lot more to know every, you know, turn that's going to come up and be able to, you know, set my car up to link everything. But I feel this car does have the speed now to be able to throw these high speed turns. Except for right there, it kind of died out on me. But I don't think it has on all the power or the right setup right now to do all the high speed drifts but I mean there was one of them I just need a little bit more speed probably and you probably need to change up the drift factor to be able to uh, 
hold the drift longer on these long sweepers because I feel like this is the biggest section on where everybody gets it. And I have to keep S'ing this and when I S it I tend to get a little bit too close to the walls or I lose too much speed. And then uh, there goes my entire run. But see right now I'm like oh we're doing good but then I right there straighten up. Couldn't get the switch back fast enough. Probably should have clutch kicked it to get my RPMs up. But we are going to try and rip this downhill because apparently this car does have enough power to rip this tunnel. You see right there. I should have transitioned sooner, but I wasn't able to because my thumb is actually starting to hurt on this accelerator pedal. So we're going to kick this around and we're going to try and run it downhill real quick. So like I said, if you guys have the Rad Dan sponsorship, don't back in the wall. If you guys have the Rad Dan sponsorship, let me know guys got any tips for me on what you guys did to uh, get it I would greatly appreciate that so we're gonna send this downhill now apparently I'm in zero gear apparently we're in neutral and we're going to try and get this section on the downhill with as many points as we can because we have the momentum of the downhill and the power and the grip see right there I did not enter that correctly and then we popped up on the curb and now we're stuck on the wall so definitely struggling on trying to get this sponsorship i probably should just grind this out and uh figure it out and be able to get it but i could probably do a little bit better if i was not recording with my frame rate but when i record my frame rate drops by a, a lot so but I wanted to try and record this to see if I could get it and if I could get it while I'm recording a video for you guys would be even better. It is the worst time for your nose to start itching and we tag that wall. So we're gonna itch our nose there. So, like I said, if you guys have any tips, tricks, any car setups that you think I could easily get the sponsorship with, let me know down in the comment section down below. I greatly appreciate your feedback that was nice and i wish we could have transitioned that but the bump screwed me up so we are going to try and run this oh wow that uh that uh that bump kind of uh totally messed with my uh car there so this is probably i think one of the hardest um sponsorships to get some people may disagree with me and say that it was super easy for them to get it. They got it in one try. Um, I may call BS on that because unless you know the track, you know, every single aspect of this track, I do not think you could get this sponsorship in one try. Um, maybe one try on the track, but you were drifting the track for a good, like, two hours. But I'd like to know like what you guys, the fastest you guys got, um, got the sponsorship with. Let me know down there. Don't, don't you know? Don't fudge your stories. No, no giant fish stories on, you know. Oh, I got it on my first try and my first run up the hill. Because if you did, great. But I really, really would love to see that. And I'm, I'm very curious on, you know, how long it took some of you guys to get this. Because I've only really tried it a few times. And. Uh, as you can see, the tries are very, uh, very hard right now. But like I said, if I did this off recording, my frame rate would be so much higher. I'm pretty sure I can drop my quality and get a better frame rate to help with the, uh, the drifting and stuff like that. But this game is just amazing on high quality and I do not ever want to drop it off of it. So that is why we are on the highest quality possible in this game we're going to throw this I know this section of the course very well because uh, it's the tunnel edge section that I run all the time and I know we can link all this I know we can hold in angle we're a little bit offline there but we are okay in this as long as we can keep transitioning and keep off the wall and I did not touch my button I went above my button so I feel like I need to get a game controller to help me out with this but I have not done that yet 
I will be getting probably a wireless game controller or a game pad for the iPhone if possible. I would like to get some sort of buttons to make this a little bit easier to play and a lot more interesting to play. So I feel like it would be a lot more fun and probably easier to control if I had uh, some sort of game pad or buttons for my clutch and stuff because I'm just making a fool of myself right now. So this is probably one of the hardest sponsorships I've found. So I'm try definitely trying my hardest to get it. Maybe I'll have to buy a pro car. Maybe I'll just have to upgrade this car more so it has more power and is, has the ability to do it. We are already downhill. So like I said, let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys did to get this sponsorship. If you did get it, if you didn't get it, are you still working on it? How long did it take you? Got any tips for me to make sure I can try and get this easier? Probably need more power on my car, and I'm going to restart my car there. So, as you guys know, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, like I said, um, all feedback would be greatly appreciated because I'm definitely trying to uh, fill that sponsorship tree because I still haven't done it yet. So, until next time, guys, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm going to try to loop around this. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> I'm out.